let's start by importing as follows from Tinker or Tinker import let's say import all there okay okay now let's give our system a name so I'm just gonna call it cow okay and uh, say TK enter parenthesis and the next thing I'll do is let's let me just give it a title uh, I can just call it calculator anyway so that's all right so let's just call it calculator yeah that'll be the title let's declare as follows I think I'm gonna need an operator there let's go for an operator that we enter everything into this operator the whole idea is just to hold on to any of the input then let's go for let me say text input I'll be using that just for the numbers anyway okay I'll make that string string variable Ma, beliin body lotion Scarlett dong. Di Shopee aja. Sepuluh sepuluh brand festival, seratus. Okay, and let me just close it here. I just close it here. Let's say calc dot main loop. Okay, I'll send the system to loop. So this will be the end of. Uh, the old program so the next thing I want to do now is let me define my text box really so right here I'll call my text box txt display right and txt display equals let me use enter so that'll be text box okay so call which is the the name you can call it whatever you like some people call it app root or whatever I just call my calculator or something similar okay now let's go for fonts uh, my font in this case let's make that area that's my font there and comma there the size let's make that 20 that might be too much but that's okay and just make it let, let's make it bold all right so now the property text variable okay text variable equals that'll be my input here this very input okay let's copy that I'm gonna place that paste that in there now let's just correct this spelling here that's wrong right I think that's right now okay now the border let's make that 30 and insert with insert with for this Xbox thing four we do okay let's say comma so that you guys can see it I'm gonna say enter and the back color um, let's go for powdered powdered blue that's a very nice color yeah all right now let's justify all of the data that we end right say comma so that you guys can see it I'm gonna say enter and the back color um, let's go for powdered powdered blue that's a very nice color yeah all right now let's justify all of the data that we enter let's justify it right okay most calculator the data is right anyway all right justify right and just oh yeah all right so close the bracket and now let me define my grid okay ask it to column column span let's make that to span maybe 
five now let's make it four okay okay so I think that would that would be all for the display itself um, that might give us an error we meant to enter and a press of it there so let's save that first so I just save it I'll just save it maybe on my desktop anywhere just come in here just save it right there okay just call it maybe calculator calculator to Okay, calculate to three underscore lambda function. Okay, I'll just call it lambda function so I don't forget. Because I'm going to be using lambda function, so that's fine. Save. Okay, let's just see what, I've, what we've done so far. If I run it now, let's see what's going to happen. We have our framework right there. So I think this, just save it maybe on my desktop anywhere just come in here let's save it right there okay just call it maybe calculator calculator to three underscore lambda lambda function so I don't forget because I'm gonna be using lambda function so that's fine save okay let's just see what I've what we've done so If I run it now, let's see what's going to happen. We have our framework right there, so I think there's an error here. Let's sort that out. Look at the title and this. Okay, let's go back in there and just see what I've done wrong there. Okay, look at the spelling of the title. That's wrong. Yeah. All right. Okay. Title is corrected. Let's give it a try again right there guys that's what we've done so far that's my that's my inputs right there so nothing is happening now so the next thing i want to do is just to add some buttons here so let's see if we can do that let's see what, I've, what we've done so far if i run it now let's see what's going to happen we have our framework right there so i think there's an error here let's sort that out look at the time and uh, say CK enter parenthesis I and name so I'm just gonna call it cow okay and uh, say TK enter parenthesis and the next thing I'll do is let's 
let me just give it a title which I can just call it calculator anyway so that's all right so let's just call it calculator yeah that will be the title let's declare as follows I think I'm gonna need an operator there let's go for an operator some buttons function okay I'll just call it lambda function so I don't forget because I'm gonna be using lambda function so that's fine save okay let's just see what I've what we've done so far if I run it now let's see okay let's just see what I've what we've done so far if I run it now let's see what's gonna happen we have our framework right there so i think there's an error here let's sort that out look at the title and this okay let's go back in there and just see what i've done wrong there okay look at the spelling of the title that's wrong yeah all right okay title is corrected let's give it a try again right there guys that's what we've done so far that's my that's my inputs right there so nothing is happening now so the next thing I want to do is just to add some buttons here so let's see if we can do that let's come right down here and add the following buttons okay now guys let's create one button and see and take it from there so I'm just gonna call it T uh, BT and 7 equals button okay that is the object button i just called that so the system should recognize that so i will now call the name of my app which is right there it's called call let's put some padding in there with that 16 that might be too much but that's okay so make that bother let's put eight on that then let's make the that let's make that black okay that's for the and the next thing let's get the text in there uh, the font sorry make that font area as well let me just copy this instead of typing okay. yeah copy that and paste it right there yeah that's fine life easier okay now comma now I'm gonna press enter because I intend to start the second line because if I continue you guys might not be able to see it so let's start the second line here so that's where we now define what would be on my button so that would be button 7 okay comma well let's just close it since we don't have we don't have a defined function yet so we we'll close that dot grid okay and I'll just make that rule equals one so that's rule one the column in this case would be column zero okay so column equals zero so let's give that a try and see Right, let's say hopefully I think everything is fine right there we have our button there we just created one button okay so maybe just copy and paste for the other buttons okay for the other buttons I'm just gonna copy this now since I've already defined my button so this one will be button 8 button 9 so let's make this 8 Okay, the pattern is X, so maybe I should change that. I don't know, but let's save it first. Oh no, I now need to define my column. So this one will be column one and column two. So that'll be zero, one, two. Okay, let's define one more. One more button. And paste that there. This button. I will call this 
addition addition right So that's button addition. On button addition, I will have the sign plus. This is supposed to be nine, and this is eight. Okay, so let's see how it will look like. Run the program and let's take it from there. All right, we have seven, eight plus. Let's see what must have happened to button nine. The problem is I have column two and column 2 here that should be column 3 so we'll run it again let's see all right so you see that guys we have seven okay so let's see
will look like we run the program and let's take it from there all right we have seven eight plus let's see what must have happened to button nine the problem is i have column two and column two here that should be column three so we'll run it again and let's see all right so you see that guys we have seven eight nine so what we just need to do now is just to copy and paste okay all I'm just going to do now is copy all of these just copy why not copy it and just paste it there or oh, before that or oh, maybe I should change the back color let's come in here and change the background color let me change the background color since the font color is black change the background color to rhyme with the text box itself okay let's just do that before copying it all right okay take this off no cursor error all right so let's run it and see okay that's how it's looking now the font color is black the background color is sky blue so that's fine so let's continue so i'm just going to copy Three. So we run it again. Let's see. All right. So you see that, guys. We have seven, eight, nine. So what we just need to do, just going to do now is copy all of these. Just copy. Why not? Copy it and just paste it there. Or before that, or maybe I should change the back color. Let's come in here and change the background color. Let me change the background color since the font color is black. Change the background color to rhyme with the text box itself. Okay, let's just do that before copying it. All right. Okay, take this off. No cursor error. All right. So let's run it and see. Okay, that's how it's looking now. The font color is black. The background color is sky blue. So that's fine. So let's continue. I'm just going to copy this. Are you interested in graph databases but don't know where to begin? Neo4j Sandbox is the best way to get started. Since all of the buttons is uh, defined, take it down, paste. So the next row, which is this, so let's just put a break in there. That's for my next row. 
and next roll will be roll number two so let's just change all of these to roll two two and two and two and this one become that will become both in four this will become both in five that will become both in six and we have four here five six so we just change the name of this to subtraction subtraction there so that is that's taken care of let's run it and see we need to change this sign as well to subtraction right so let's run it and see right here guys that's looking good okay all right so the next thing we want to do now i don't know why this one looks a bit strange but that's fine the next thing we want to do is just to copy both and now uh, i'll just speed that up let's speed it up so you guys now get the idea copy paste The second one, the, the third, the fourth one actually. So this will become roll number three. Why this become roll four? The column numbers remains the same. So if I run it before changing the whole component on this. Let's change one or two, then you guys see the rest. So let me so so the next thing we want to do now. I don't know why this one looks a bit shrink, but that's fine. The next thing we want to do is just to copy both and now uh, I'll just speed that up. Let's speed it up. So you guys now get the idea. Copy paste. Here's the second one, the, the third, the fourth one actually. So this will become roll number three. Why this become roll four? The column numbers remains the same. So if I run it before changing the whole component on this. Let's change one or two, then you guys see the rest. So let me just run it and see. I'll change it later on. And there, that's how the system looks right now. So I just need to change these ones. And all of these are fine now. Okay. Right. So that's our calculator. That's correct. And this will become button one. Two, three, and this one is multiply. All right, let's multiply right there, and this one will become okay. This button will become button zero, this will become button maybe button clear or btn clear btn clear and this will become btn let's say btn equals equals and this one is division okay division right there so we have all of that in place. Change this one to equal sign and this one becomes
capsule let us see uh, why this one becomes zero all right let's just copy this and change that let's enter y there paste and just comma and enter letter y okay hopefully that we sort it out for us that will surely sort it out anyway that's no big deal So that's just for the bottom row so I will show you guys how it looks let's run it then I just speed up the rest okay you can see that now look at the bottom row how So that's just for the bottom row. So I will show you guys how it looks. Let's run it. Then I just speed up the rest. Okay, you can see that now. Look at the bottom row, how that looks like. I think it looks much better. Okay, let me just speed it up. All right, let's paste this in here. Speed that up. Okay, all done now. So I now have padded x and a pad in y as well so both 16 the choice is yours whatever you like to enter for your pad this is how it looks let's run it then i just speed up the rest okay you can see that now look at the, the bottom row how that looks like i think it looks much better okay let me just speed it up all right let's paste this in here speed that up okay all done now so i now have padded x and a pad in y as well so both 16 the choice is yours whatever you like to enter for your padding so i'm just let, let me just run it and we'll take it from there okay that is how it looks i feel this is much better okay that's my own taste anyway i feel this much better now that the buttons are created let's come here and start work on let's start work on the or define some functions okay we have all the rules ready let's define some functions up here okay okay we start by declaring as follows so let's say declare as it as how it's written in uh, Python so declare btn I'm just gonna call it btn click that will be for my buttons enter my parentheses and what I want you to enter will be numbers okay make sure you enter a 
column there. Then let's declare a global variable. This global variable, I'm gonna just call that operator. Yeah, operator, that's fine. Which I've already called here somewhere. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll just say operator equals operator. Operator equals operator plus string value of number is numbers okay there all right so that's my operator then now then call my input here this very input text input and that will be dot text what are the texts so that will be the operator right now that that is done now that that is done i'm now going to use let's call lambda function right here let's say command command equals lambda is a this is an invisible function you guys will not see it, but uh, the system will recognize and understand whatever you call it equals click and what's that's button seven okay so now click enter seven there all right that's my lambda function there and right here oh there's an error here take that off supposed to be a comma right so let's see what we have if I run it now with this lambda command let me let me just put it right here so that it will be consistent yeah that's fine okay now run it and see save okay that's brilliant you see that you see that nice so all I just need to do is to copy that same lambda Right here, oh, there's an error here. Take that off. Go do that. That should be equals. And here, that's supposed to be a comma. Right. So let's see what will happen if I run it now with this lambda command. Uh, let me let me just put it right here so that it will be consistent. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now run it and see. Save. Okay, that's brilliant. You see that? You see that, guys? So, all I just need to do is to copy that same lambda function now. Just add it to all of these other buttons. So, now come in here, copy it, and come right down here, paste it for button 8, change this to 8 come right down change this to 9 right take care of button number 4 change this to 4 button 5 change that to 5 and I'll just speed it up Now 
now that you guys get the whole idea okay we can use that for yeah we can also use it for minus any lambda function and that will just be minus let's enter that in quotes okay and I left this one out paste that in there enter quotes now be for close okay. just speed that up anyway okay guys i've entered the lambda command bringing your ideas and innovations to the world means solving a lot of problems and you and for all apart from the clear button and the equal button so those ones we have their own command all right let me just show you how it works for now have a good look at all the codes, lines of codes before I run it. Okay, let's run it now. Run the program. So we have seven, eight, nine, and so on. Okay, let's check out our operators. Those are
flare is not working, zero is working, and the plus sign is not working. Okay, now let's take care of the clear the clear function first. So with the clear function, just enter, press enter there, and we declare another. We define another function there. So I'm just gonna call it BTN clear. I think I've used BTN clear before. BTN clear text. Okay, BTN clear display. Clear display. All right. Yeah. BTN clear display. That's that's cool. And enter parentheses. Nothing in there. Okay. Declare it. Declare the same global variable. Then just copy it instead of copy paste it right there and this operator itself we want it clear get rid of this and we want the text here copy text input and we just set that to clear that's it so that's the clear taking care of so all we then need to do is to use the command to call this very declaration. So copy that and come right down here where it says btn clear right there. Okay, comma command equals the btn clear this very one. Okay, so if I run it and enter whatever data I want in there. Let's see what will happen. Enter whatever value you want in there and just play. You see that, guys? Okay, this is easier than the previous. Previous uh, calculator I, I made in Python. It's taking me a lot, a long time having to carry out a lot of research. okay now that's looking good and finally let's take care of the main one the equals let's come here and just call that so we call that btn btn equals input input btn equals input and let's enter our okay btn equals input I'm just going to copy all of this anyway let's copy it all come down in here paste that since we have our global variable declared all we just need to do is let's use what I'll call the call I'm just going to call that sum up okay sum up equals string value and let's use e value of whatever operator is entered okay this anyway let's copy it all come down in here paste that since we have our global variable declared all we just need to do is let's use what i'll call the call i'm just going to call that sum up Okay, sum up equals string value and let's use e value of whatever operator is entered okay right there now we now need
input the input we should set that to sum up which is right here let's copy that and paste that in there and we need to now let's empty our operator okay I think that should do it now let's come in. Look, look at it and see yeah I think everything looks like it's gonna be alright so let's run it and just have a look no I need to add this to my equals just have a look no i need to add this to my equals button bt and equals let's come right down here right here so the command let's say command equals btn equals input So now run the program and see what will happen. Now we have an error. Let's say command. There's supposed to be a comma here. Enter a comma. Now run it again and see. Right there. So I enter my data plus six. There guys. Claim equals. Let's come right down here. Right. here so the command let's say command equals btn equals inputs so now run the post the btn cloud is very one Okay, so if I run it and enter whatever data I want in there, input btn equals input, and let's enter our okay btn equals input. I'm just gonna copy all of this anyway. Let's copy it all since we have our global record string value, and let's use e value of whatever operator is entered okay
Let's let's come right down and this in Python. So let me show you guys the codes again before I say bye for now. Let's show you the codes.